A brewery expanding its business could mean big things for one city. News 8's Jenna Webster shares why Clinton officials hope the new brewery will help revitalize the downtown. It's new at 10 tonight. The heart of Clinton beats downtown. But vacant buildings with no home, no identity, no longer tell the history of a once vibrant Rivertown economy. It didn't get in this condition overnight. It took 40 years. Once we introduced some of the big box retail establishments, those stores moved out of our community, leaving kind of a gap. The empty historic Bethel Church holding the key to fill that gap. So we're going to kind of keep the old here, but bring a little new life into it as well. So. Rachel Heiss shares a vision for Clinton's first African-American church. We're uh, thinking about using them as our bar tops as well. The church being repurposed to become a brewery, the second location for Geneseo-based Great Revivalist Brew Lab. What cooler place to have a brewery in, in a church and to showcase the historical value and bring it back to the life for the city of Clinton. An expansion city officials are excited about. The one on the corner, the roof is caving in. It was on the demolition list. So this is a great opportunity to save them and to save the history. It's preserving history while making history. Great Revivalist will be the only brewery in Clinton. This just gives another reason for people to stop here and then not only enjoy the wonderful uh, beer and food and things that they're going to have here, but then see the other things that we have in our community to offer as well. A win for an old river town's economy. It has so much potential. I mean, I can't wait till opening day. To make the downtown's heart be just a little bit stronger. In Clinton, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. Great Revivalist purchased two of the church buildings. One will be used for storage, the other the restaurant and brewery.